Hi everyone, my name is Gabriel Varga and we're gonna go through all the basic punches today that you need to make sure that your stand-up game is as proficient as possible. Now we're talking about the body hook. Let's, let's work off the lead arm to begin with. And what we're trying to accomplish with the body hook is get the same amount of power we get up to head level. But a lot of times people lack power down to the body because they either are scared of the counter shot and they just shy away, or they let their body weight through the feet shift too much. So if I'm trying to land to his body and your hands are just up, and this is my normal distance, from here I'm not gonna be able to reach him. But what a lot of people try to do is throw their first two shots, bend in, and then try and land to the body. But because I have most of the weight on my front foot, I now have no body torque. And if I don't twist my body, I'm essentially just punching with my arm. So for the body hook, you always wanna focus on doing the exact same motion you do high as you do low, which is engaging through your feet and engaging through the hips. Now, I might have to make small adjustments in my stance if I throw jab cross and his hands are up super high, I might need to take a little shuffle forward and then land to the body. If you have longer arms, I find that I'm often quite effective just going one, two, bending my knees and landing with an almost full extended arm right to the front of the stomach. As long as you're landing that shot with 50% of your weight on either foot and you're twisting your hips and you're using the exact same technique that you used from high down to low, you're gonna have an effective body shot that can cause some damage. The body shot hook I was just showing you, you required a shuffle forward to close the distance. And what we wanna try and accomplish here is just a small motion in and out. Now I can disguise that step by simply throwing punches and doing it at the same time. Or if I deliver enough power in my shot and he just gets a little stunned, I can take my step after. So my two options are either one, two, throw my body shot or throw really hard ones and then move and throw to the body. What I wanna do when I, whenever I move is always extend my stance and then shrink my stance. The opposite is no good. Shrinking my stance and extending, that's not what we want because we end up at this point where our, our legs are less than shoulder width apart, which makes me off balance. So anytime I move, whether forward, backwards, sideways, I throw one, two, I extend and shrink my stance quickly. As I do that, I cock my shoulders, and then right away I'm ready to throw an effective body shot. Thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this.